Hi, I'm Gary Schleschman, and it's my privilege to serve as the president of the Colorado Kansas Division. As part of my duties, I get to come to Independence, Kansas, and check out for myself all the fantastic things that this small southeast Kansas town has to offer and see the outstanding contributions employees have been making, not only to our company, but also to their unique community. A great hometown anybody would be glad to claim is their own. I'm always so impressed by the accomplishments that I pulled a few strings to launch a special investigation to find out the secrets of their success. Here's that report. What is the secret behind the spirit of independence? Independence, Kansas, that is. Hello, I'm Bill Curtis. On this special edition of Investigative Reports, we look into the mystery of how a small Midwestern town can host a nationally recognized theater festival each year in honor of its homegrown Pulitzer Prize winning playwright, put on the state's largest annual celebration, attract Fortune 500 companies to its economy, while providing a quality of life that most Americans are looking for but thought didn't exist anymore. Our search begins here. Nestled snugly in America's heartland, tucked away in the rolling hills of southeast Kansas, are some of the state's brightest blossoms, a field of dreams passed down the generations and sustained by a special spirit of independence. Atmos Energy employees play a major role in firing up that special spirit by providing gas to homes and businesses and by their full participation in the community's efforts to maintain the quality of life where they can grow and prosper in a progressive small town environment. The life force behind the spirit of independence is the army of citizen volunteers bolstering every aspect of the community's civic, cultural and educational endeavors. In return, the city provides its residents with a feeling of security, enjoyment, and accomplishment with unique opportunities not often found in cities five to ten times as large. Providing a safe, nurturing environment for families has been a primary part of the spirit of independence from its beginnings. Among the early settlers were Pa Engels and his family, made famous by his daughter Laura Engels Wilder and her book Little House on the Prairie. Laura's log cabin home has been painstakingly reconstructed on its original site, located 13 miles southwest of Independence. Later, the oil boom fueled the creation of local tycoons like Harry Sinclair, who founded his oil company in Independence. Legend has it that Independence at the turn of the 20th century had more millionaires per capita than any place else in the United States. Standing as testimony to that legend are the stately mansions scattered throughout the city, including Harry Sinclair's majestic home, as lovely today as yesterday, as is the classic Carnegie Library. Constructed in 1907, it recently underwent a $3 million renovation and new addition as part of the city's quality of life bond issue. One of the most enduring legacies of its past is historic downtown Independence, where the spirit's vibrant heart beats strongly in its bustling streets. Its broad avenues are flanked by turn-of-the-century buildings, so well-preserved that Independence was selected as one of the first five Main Street cities in Kansas. Its viability is supported by Atmos Operations Manager Dave Harson's work on the Chamber of Commerce and Montgomery County Action Council Boards. Intent on preserving this family heirloom, the city and downtown merchants invested over a million dollars in a new streetscape to make it even more shopper-friendly. The spirit of independence also thrives because its corporate citizens, including Atmos Energy, share the commitment to make their community a great place to live so it will be a great place to work. That spirit is exemplified by the 400 independence employees of Standard Motor Products, one of the largest engine management component manufacturers in the world. Hackney is a leading producer of aluminum truck bodies and trailers for the beverage industry. Independence's world-class facility designs, builds, and finishes a variety of products for the international market. A hallmark of the spirit of independence was the recruitment of Cessna aircraft. Community leaders and volunteers rallied to fill the economic void left by ARCO. They won the worldwide competition to be the site of Cessna's $60 million re-entry into the single-engine aircraft market and the right for independence to claim the title of the light aircraft capital of the world. 
The Cessna and Independence Partnership has been so successful, the company decided to invest $20.4 million to expand the local facility to 528,000 square feet for the assembly of their new Cessna Citation Mustang business jet. Quality education nurtures the spirit of independence. Kansas public schools consistently rank in the top 10 nationally, with independent schools considered to be among the state's best. In 2009, independence voters approved $45 million in school facility improvements. This will build a new $15 million elementary school, provide a $13 million interior renovation of the historic middle school, and $17 million for the complete interior and exterior renovation of the high school. Sitting on a beautiful 70-acre campus, Independence Community College is fully accredited by the North Central Associations of Colleges and Schools. It offers personalized instruction in a two-year academic program, as well as adult education, business, and technology courses. The cultural highlight of the year is ICC's annual William Inge Festival, where America's theatrical legends gather to honor the Pulitzer Prize and Academy Award-winning playwright. All right. Born and raised in Independence, Inge's works include Picnic and Splendor in the Grass. The college, assisted by local volunteers, hosts the three-day festival to recognize outstanding American playwrights. The spirit of Independence is exemplified by Atmos Energy's participation in the annual OK Kids Health and Safety Festival. Atmos employees give out balloons, trinkets, and gas safety information. If you smell this odor, smell that. It smells like rotten eggs, doesn't it? Stinks. Well, that's, that's what our gas smells like, and that odor's there so that you can let your folks know that you're smelling that odor, and then they can call us, all right? So if you ever smell that odor, you want to let your folks know, and then they'll call us up, and we'll come out and check it out and make sure it's safe for you, okay? The spirit of independence is refreshed in Riverside Park and Ralph Mitchell Zoo. 124 acres of pure delight for young and old. It's a great gathering place for festivals, reunions, and Atmos employees' participation in the annual Mercy Hospital Barbecue Championships. Or for swimming in the new 12,700 square foot Riverside Beach Family Aquatic Center. The $3 million facility was another benefit of the voter approved quality of life bond issue. Kids are safe to roam free in a park packed with sports facilities, a variety of rides, and playground equipment, including the merry-go-round, which is still just a nickel to ride. Because it's full of spirited tennis fanatics, in 2009, Independence submitted a video in the USTA Best Tennis Town in America contest. In a nationwide online vote, the local tennis association won third place and $25,000 in equipment for its outstanding tennis program. Thousands flock here each October to revel in the spirit of independence during Iwala, which is Halloween spelled backwards, a week-long celebration for kids of all ages that is the largest festival in Kansas. Downtown has turned into a carnival midway, where with the help of hundreds of volunteers, this town of around 10,000 adapts itself to becoming a city of over 80,000. Memorial Hall hosts shows by top performers in the entertainment world during Niwala and throughout the year. It and the adjoining Civic Center, used for meetings and trade shows, recently underwent a $3 million quality of life renovation, including new sound, lighting, and stage rigging to support the annual Niwala musical performed by the best of local talent. Clever costumes, floats, and short legs are the order of the day for the Friday Kitty Parade, with the festivities being topped off on Saturday by one of the biggest and grandest parades ever. A two-hour kaleidoscope of music, color, pageantry, and just good old-fashioned fun. Well, there you have it. A few blossoms from the field of dreams that make up the Atmos Energy fired-up spirit of independence. Take it from me. It's a great place to grow up. How do I know? Did I forget to mention that independence just happens to be my hometown? While that may make this particular investigative report a bit biased, it doesn't make it any less true. But don't take my word for it. Come see for yourself. Your Independence Atmos co-workers would love to get the chance to show off our hometown to you in person. Atmos crew leader Bruce Main will be glad to call a square dance or two for you. I'm just another square dance caller. And even teach you how to do -si do with the best of them. Swing your promenade. I'm Bill Curtis. The rest of the investigation is up to you. Come sample these beautiful blossoms, and I think you'll catch 
the spirit of independence.